In this week video, I'm going to show you how to make fried fish recipe. For this recipe, I love to use golden palm fried, but you can use any fish that you like. The most important is to cook the delicious sauce that goes with the fish. If you are new here, consider to subscribe and hit that bell button to receive our new notification. Here, I'm just cutting the spring onion to 2 to 3 cm length. Then, I'm slicing the garlic and ginger. I'm using dry shiitake mushroom. You want to soak it with hot water until softened. Squeeze out the water before slicing it like so. Now we are going to marinate the mushroom to get that silky texture. So we need a quarter teaspoon sugar, a quarter teaspoon cooking oil, then just make it well put aside. So I also prepare some Thai chili slices and spring onion for garnishing. For the sauce, combine a 300ml water with 2 tablespoons oyster sauce, a quarter teaspoon of dark soy sauce, one and a half teaspoon of tapioca flour, then just mix well. Now for the fish, remove the gills and clean the fish truly, and then you want to pat with dry towels. Then score the fish on each, each side like so. Now you want to season the fish. Just uh, use about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then cover the both sides of the fish with two teaspoons of tapioca flour. Okay, now get ready your deep frying oil. And then gently put in the fish. You want to be, be careful because sometimes the oil can splash. The fish belly always facing towards the opposite side. This can reduce the oil splashing chances toward you. And then just cook for about 5 to 6 minutes each side or until golden brown. Okay, once the fish is cooked, transfer to a serving plate and then we are going to make the sauce. Heat up a wok with 1 tablespoon cooking oil and then add the ginger slices. Let it sit for about a few seconds before you uh, add in the garlic and then keep cooking for another maybe a few seconds more before you um, throw in the mushrooms and then let the mushroom cook for just a few more seconds all right before you put in the spring onions so you want to put the white part of the spring onions or the hardened part of the spring onions so stir it well cook for another maybe 30 seconds and then you want to pour in the sauce mixture and then let it bubble away for about 5 minutes or so. And then you will get this very rich and flavorful sauce for your fish. Okay, at this point you want to taste your sauce. So I think it needs about another teaspoon of salt. And then... Um, just mix it well and I'm going to add the balanced spring onions which is the softer part and then you want to cook that about a few uh, seconds more so if you think at this point that your sauce is too thick you can just add a slightly uh, water alright so here I'm just adding some balanced sauce I didn't put it all just now um, I'm just worried like it's too much but it's not actually you can just put all so at this point you want the spring onion to be softened and the sauce to be thicker and then after that the last touch is a tablespoon of Shaoxing wine uh, it's going to uh, smell good so you want to put that but it's optional uh, it's not a big deal if you don't put it and uh, let give a quick stir and then the sauce is done so once the sauce is done just pour on the fish 
and then uh, this is going to taste so good you can serve it with white or brown rice doesn't matter and then uh, don't forget to put some garnishing on it so I'm just putting the sliced um, spring onions and the Thai chili uh, slices and yeah so if you don't like the spiciness you can just remove the Thai chili but uh, if you can take the heat it's actually quite good it, uh, the, the sauce is really really good with this uh, Thai chili slices so I hope you enjoyed this recipe if you do try the recipe let me know how it turns out uh, by commenting at the video below and as usual you can get all the recipe from luvinali.com and then um, please don't forget to subscribe and I see you in my next video bye